Welcome to William Aberhart High School. This presentation supports our grade 9 students and families select their courses for grade 10. We have three guidance counselors at Aberhart to help support our students and families with this selection. This presentation is to help support you in making your choices about your high school career. There are many different pathways in high school as no one pathway suits everyone. Guidance counselors will be presenting virtually to our Calgary Board of Education feeder schools, our junior highs. We will discuss the courses and the processes with our students. The Calgary Board of Education has a guide to help with understanding pathways in high school and opportunities. This guide helps explain required courses and complementary courses in high school. It also gives an idea of what a three-year plan might look like, how you would look at your interests, goals, and what supports your learning. There are different opportunities at the Calgary Board. There's unique opportunities such as exploratory programs, internships, dual credit programs, opportunities at the Career and Technology Center, online learning and upgrading. As you learn more about yourself and discover new possibilities in high school, we will support you as you revisit, review and revise your plan. The province of Alberta recognizes different ways for high school completion. One way for high school completion is the Alberta High School Diploma requirements. A student earns a minimum of 100 credits. You need to take English and Social to the grade 12 level, Math and Science to the grade 11 level, Phys Ed 10, Career and Life Management, 10 credits in a second language or career technology studies, fine arts or phys ed class, you've got choice there, and 10 credits in any 30 level grade 12 course, in addition to social and English. Note that these are the minimum requirements for high school completion. Students and families also consider what courses will be required to pursue post-secondary options. Another way to complete high school is to do a certificate of high school achievement. A student would obtain 80 credits. There's different courses required for your English, math, science, social, physical education, career and life management. A focus is on a, a very hands-on applied program. You'll have a 30 level applied course and five credits at work experience. Note that these are minimum requirements for high school completion. Students and families also consider what courses will be required to pursue what they would like to study after in a post-secondary option. There are so many pathways in high school and so many explorations that we can support with this. Course credits. Most courses in high school such as English, Social, Math, Science and Languages are five credits. The Career and Technology Studies, the CTS courses, are one credit per module and typically our students earn five credits per that course. Grade 10s typically earn a minimum of 40 credits and grade 10s typically don't have spares. We're trying to build a program that puts you on track to graduate. Now there are some differences between junior high school and high school. We have two semesters in high school where we go from September to January in semester one and semester two is February to June. We have four courses per semester and we try very hard to balance your classes as well. You pass each course on its own. 50% is a pass. Other differences, there are different streams in high school. We have Dash 1, Dash 2, Dash 3, and Dash 4 classes. Again, this depends on your subject. The Dash 1 classes, it's a course sequence ending in Dash 1 and it emphasizes abstract and conceptual challenges. 
Though the dash two, dash three, and dash four courses do include abstract challenges, but they emphasize increasingly concrete and practical challenges. Remember, parents, counselors, teachers, school administrators can all help support decision making regarding which course will best support learning. You can also choose different sequences for different courses. This will depend on your strengths, needs, and your plans for the future. So you may decide to do, for example, an English 10-1 uh, and decide your social is a 10-2. It can vary per subject. Here's an example of a bell schedule. You'll see that we may have a morning block for a class, starts at seven. That could be, for example, a band practice. We have optional tutorial time from 8.20 to nine. Again, at the end of the day, you'll see what we've called well. That's another form of a tutorial and engagement where we can have different uh, tutorials for students, or if they decide they need to focus on their wellness, they can do that piece. If they need uh, to head out to a practice that they've got, they can do that. That is optional. In the morning, we have two classes, then you'll have your lunch break and other two classes after lunch. You'll see that our timetable does rotate. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we do periods one and two, your lunch, and then three and four. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, we go class two, one, your lunch break, and then we do class four and three. And on Friday, it's a shorter day. We're done around 112. Know that those times might change. So part of selecting your grade 10 courses, there are required classes, such as your English, math, science, social, and physical education. If you're in a language program, you'll have different requirements, such as your Spanish bilingual students and the French immersion students. You'll also be looking at complementary courses and exploring different areas of interest. students doing the Certificate of Achievement of French Immersion. Over the course of high school, the student will require the following. 15 credits in French language arts, 15 credits in mathematics in French, and 15 credits in social studies done in French. Student studies math, social studies, and French language arts in French in grade 10, 11, and 12. The Certificate of Achievement in Spanish Bilingual Program. Over the course of high school, the student will require the following. 15 credits in Spanish Language Arts, 5 credits in Math 10C in Spanish, and if you do the Math 10-3, we add an additional Spanish option class there. As well, you'll need to choose 5 credits in a Spanish option in Grade 10. The Calgary Board of Education has a detailed high school course guide with descriptions of required courses, off-campus programs, unique opportunities, fine and performing arts, language programs and courses, and complementary courses. This slide shows the math course sequence through high school, your grade 10, 11, and 12 sequence. This chart shows the different math courses offered for our grade 10 students. Math 10-3 is a workplace and apprenticeship type of math. You may not have met the grade 9 level for math, and this may be an appropriate math level there. Math 15-5 is trying to build more competencies in math in preparation for Math 10-C. The Math 10-C You've demonstrated basic, good, or excellent achievement in your Math 9. And the Math 10C Pre-AP class is for someone who loves math, you've got a passion, you're very motivated, and you wish to pursue mathematics at a level beyond high school. This slide shows you the science course sequence for high school. You'll see that Science 10, Science 14, and Science 10-4 
are the starting points for your science and what the progressions are going into grade 11 and grade 12. This chart shows the grade 10 science courses. Science 14 is a workplace and apprenticeship science. You may not have met the grade 9 level expectations in science. Science 10 is students that have demonstrated basic good or excellent achievement in Science 9. And the Science 10 pre-AP, pre-advanced placement, would be for students that are excellent in Science 9. You've got a passion for science, you're motivated, and you wish to pursue science at a level beyond high school. This is the English course sequence for high school. The progression of English for grade 10, 11, and 12. This is a chart that shows the differences between English 10-1 and English 10-2. This is the social studies course sequence for high school. You will see that the so course sequence for French and English social studies are similar. This chart describes the three different social classes available. Social 10-4 is a knowledge and employability class. It would be someone that did not uh, achieve the outcomes for social in nine, grade nine. The social 10-2 course, in your grade nine outcomes, you may be developing or proficient at understanding social nine and the social 10-1 or for students that are pursuing the diploma and you're interested in social studies or related courses in post-secondary, you've demonstrated proficiency or excellency in understanding of the social nine outcomes. Advanced placement courses. Advanced placement refers to first year college curriculum of a grade 12 or 30 level course. Now you do not have to take pre-AP classes in grade 10 and 11 to be able to do these courses in grade 12. It's not necessary to have a grade 10 or 11 pre-AP class to do the advanced placement. Why would you do advanced placement? Students that like to explore a unique passion in one or more subject area, you get to decide which ones you want to study in terms of which subject you enjoy, what's your passion that you are evaluated on your grade level outcomes from the Alberta Program of Studies for your marks. As well, the Alberta Education does not recognize the advanced placement courses on the official student transcript. You have the choice on whether to put those marks forward from the College Board to a post-secondary institution, in addition to providing your Alberta transcript. You may depending on the institution, can earn advanced credit at a university level. You will need to contact the university registrar whether the advanced placement credits are considered at that institution. Complementary courses. Select your complementary courses based on your interest and career paths. I encourage you to understand what you are choosing. We've got a lot of choices and we've got resources to help you understand what you will be taking in those complementary courses. All of our complementary courses will be offered based on student interest as well as our staff and school resources. When we come to our junior highs, we will explain how to select your course selections and your preferences with your complementary courses from one to six. And so these are become very important decisions and we'll discuss this a little bit further when we meet with you at the junior high virtual presentation. I'd like to speak a little bit about Math 15.5, which is a complementary course. This course is highly recommended for students who wish to build a strong foundation and increase their confidence in mathematics before taking Math 10c. And Math 15 is a complementary course and will treat it as your first choice. In terms of complementary courses, you're going to get a course selection sheet and it will list all of our complementary courses. You can see that we carry a lot of different types of classes for you to choose from. 
to find something, a passion you might like or discover that's not really what you enjoyed. So these courses are really quite important. Here are more complimentary courses offered. The complimentary course band, if you want to take band, check PE band on the front of the course selection form. Physical education and band are full year courses and are on alternate days in grade 10. For our complimentary course Spanish bilingual students, You'll need to identify your complementary course that you'd like in your Spanish option course. We have three option courses for you to choose from. Communication Technology Introductory in Spanish, Film and Media Studies in Spanish, and a Sp Spanish option CTS course. We'd like to provide an example of a timetable each year we build our timetable according to course demand and school resources, and we want to give you an example of a timetable in the following slide. Note that it's just an example and not what every timetable would look like. We work hard on balancing timetables so that core classes and complementary courses are balanced each semester. Here's an example of a timetable of Math 15-5 with French Immersion. Please note how Math 15.5 is taken in Semester 1, followed by Math 10c French in Semester 2. This would vary if you were in the Spanish program, if you're in the English program, but you can see how your options and your required classes are balanced. A balance is really important. Uh, when we support you in your timetabling, we support a sense of balance, maintaining health and perspective. Sometimes our students have a sense of urgency. They want to complete courses beyond their grade level, but we encourage grade 10 courses in grade 10. And for most students, there are no spares in grade 10. We're supporting a pathway for success in high school for spares in later grades. Most students finish high school in three years, and some may take an additional year. We work collaboratively with you and personalize around the students' needs and the resources available at the school. The following slides provide information on how to enter courses into PowerSchool. Our junior high students will be putting these courses into PowerSchool with their families. You'll be asked to fill in, sign, return the course selection form to your junior high. We ask that parents and guardians make sure that you have a signature on this bottom page. We will be doing virtual presentations to our junior high feeder schools. We work to support our new grade 10's transition to high school and look forward to meeting you. It is best to ask questions now regarding course selections so that we may help you to make a smooth start for your grade 10 year. At William Aberhart High School, guidance counselors work according to the students' last names. On the slide, we have provided you the contact information of our guidance counselors and our secretary. Here is our administration at William Aberhart High School. Timetables. Timetables are typically available in PowerSchool at the end of August, beginning of September. Watch the William Aberhart High School website for school startup information. Don't hesitate to reach out if you have questions.